guys, my name is Em and welcome to the start of a brand new reading vlog. In today's video it is going to be a 24 hour readathon vlog. I decided that I wanted to do a 24 hour thon a couple of days ago and I asked you guys on Instagram and I think close to 100 people are joining which is very very exciting and I cannot wait to get into it. It is currently 12.17 on March 4th. The readathon began at 12pm. It is World Book Day today. Happy World Book Day and I thought what better way to celebrate World Book Day than by a readathon. I'm going to show you my TBR right now. I plan on getting a lot of reading done in the next 24 hours. I've cleared my schedule so that I'm pretty much free for the entire time. So first up on my TBR and I think the main book that I want to read is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. I'm not reading this whole thing. I'm actually almost done. I am on page like 570. So I have like approximately 200 pages left. I am loving this book so far and I cannot wait to finish it in this readathon. I then have two graphic novels on my TBR just to kind of break up the big books because I know that once I finish this I'm going to be so heartbroken that it's over and I'm gonna want to pick up something short and sweet. So the two that I have on this TBR is The Sad Ghost Club by Liz Meddings. This is something that I've seen all around book but I don't really know what it's about but it's a graphic novel and it looks really cute. The next one that I have on my TBR is Monstrous Volume 1. This is a thick graphic novel and I've seen this around everywhere and I'm very excited to read it. If I have time to pick up another novel I'm not intending to finish it in this readathon but just to pick it up so that I can start my next read. I'm hoping to pick up The Gilded Ones which I am so so excited to read. I think this is going to be amazing. Again this is subject to change based on how I feel when I finish A Court of Silver Flames because I could be in the mood for something completely different. I'm also currently in the middle of an audiobook called You Had Me at Ola, which I'm reading, kind of. I've been reading it for the whole month of February and now into March as well. I am the worst at actually starting and finishing audiobooks unless I have the physical copy as well to read along. But I have, I think, four hours left. I'm probably about halfway through. If I feel like picking up an audiobook, that is the one that I will turn to. But I'm not particularly in the mood for audiobooks lately. I don't know what it is. But if I have to do anything that requires a lot of time, then I will probably turn to the audiobook. So yeah, that is my TBR. I'm very, very excited. I don't think I'm going to be hosting any reading sprints or anything simply because I wasn't actually feeling the best over the past couple days and I'm still not feeling great. So I am just going to read to my heart's desire and I cannot wait to get into all of these amazing books. Also, I forgot to mention, I know the lighting is weird here. It's because I'm behind a window. Um, But I also want to read Killjoy by Holly Jackson. This is the World Book Day book which feels fitting to read in this readathon and it's also really really short and this is the prequel to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder which is actually a series that I really want to pick up very very soon possibly even in this readathon. Okay so it's like nearly 1 p.m and I haven't started reading yet because I got logged onto like this workshop that was kind of spur of the moment. I've decided that for every book I finish this readathon I can buy another book. I haven't bought a book since like February 14th or something like that which is almost a month ago and that's kind of crazy to me. So I'm going to start my readathon by trying to finish A Court of Silver Flames. I would love to finish this tonight. I'm not planning on reading all night long, but I am hopefully going to be staying up as late as possible reading. It is five minutes past five and I have about 40 pages left of Akasif. I cannot describe how much I'm loving this book, how much I can't wait to finish it. So I'm going to stop talking and finish it. I finished it. <laughs> it is now 5.42. We're almost six hours into the readathon and I have just finished A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. I haven't got the cover on. This spine is so like bent and battered but honestly I kind of love that because it's such a well-loved book plus I have another edition so we're not going to complain. Literally look at those annotations. I loved this book from beginning to end. Whenever I'm reading a book for more than a couple days I tend to lose interest, I tend to start disliking the book a little bit more and end up rushing to finish it whether that means picking up the audiobook and listening to it in like three times speed, skimming it, whatever. This book I have been reading for almost two weeks and I could read it for another two weeks and be completely content with it. I just loved it so, so, so much. I can't even describe how much I loved it. I mean, obviously five out of five stars, six out of five stars. It is literally a new favorite. 
I think this is such a step up from A Court of Mist and Fury even, which was my favourite of the original trilogy. I definitely think Sarah made a huge improvement in her writing and her plot and everything in this book. Though the first three are amazing too and I low-key want to reread the entire series just so I can read this book again. I can't even describe how much I loved this. Obviously I'm not going to give spoilers but I am filming a spoiler vlog which will be out either before this vlog or just after it. I am just in awe of how much I loved this book. Every single element was amazing. I'm about to cry again. I did cry and I rarely cry. I think the only other book that I've cried at was The Nightingale and they're, they're so different. I cannot wait for the next book. I don't even need them to have a plot, though they have an amazing plot. Give me a reality show with these characters because this is the best book. This is the best series I've ever read. And yeah, that's it. I'm literally reeling from this entire book. Pick it up. Pick up the series if you've not read it. Pick this one up if you feel like it. Just just do it. I still have the bonus content from Azriel's POV in Silver Flames, so I'm going to read that. I'm having a great time with this readathon so far, and I'm so glad that I finally managed to complete this book. I'm gonna take a little break, maybe watch an episode of Netflix or something, but I am gonna get straight back into reading because I know if I wait too long, then I'm not going to read anything else. So that is what I'm gonna do. I am so excited that I have finished this book. That's it. Goodbye. Hey guys, hello. Okay, it is 10.30 in the night right now and I have just finished book number two, which was The Sad Ghosts Club. I think I'm gonna give this one a four star. I really, really enjoyed it, but obviously it wasn't a five star considering that Akisaf was a five star and it does not compare. But this was really wholesome. I think this was more of kind of speaking about how important mental health is and how you're not alone and it's so... It, it was just really hopeful and uplifting, but also sad, if that makes sense. I don't know. I really like this book, and I think it was a very relatable book in a way. And I recommend that you go pick it up because it is a graphic novel and you can read it pretty fast. I have two books left on my TBR that I would like to get to. I did have Monstrous on my TBR, but I've actually put it back on the shelf because I'm not really in the mood to read it. And if I read it now, I would only be reading it to get through another book because it's a graphic novel. Okay, so one of the ones I have is Killjoy by Holly Jackson, which is the World Book Day book. This is going to be a very short read and I cannot wait to get around to it, but it is like a murder mystery thriller type of thing. And because it's 10.30 at night and I am really tired, I don't know if this is the best idea to be reading right now, but I think I will pick this up in the morning and read it hopefully before 12 o'clock. But the book that I think I'm going to start right now is The Gilded Ones. I'm gonna read a chapter of it, see if I'm vibing with it. If not, I will pick a different book. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it before 12 o'clock, but we shall see. Hey guys, hello, happy Friday. The readathon is officially over and I haven't really read that much, but I'm coming on here because I have a fairy loot box to unbox and I was gonna wait for both of them but it actually could be several more weeks until the February one arrives. This is the January one so obviously if you don't want to see spoilers from January's fairy loot skip ahead I'll try to put a timestamp at the bottom but I am so excited because I do know what book is gonna be in here but I don't really know what items are gonna be in here so I'm very excited to open it up. Okay so first thing I see <laughs> is a like spatula, a wooden spatula that said, did you know food is infinitely more scrumptious when you're in love? And that is by Lovely War by Julie Berry, which I love Lovely War. And I think that's such a useful item. Like I love when there's items that you can use in like your everyday life and in your house, but are also book themed, you know, which just adds a little bit of spice. Then we've got some squirmies, which there's not too many of them, thankfully. Okay, so the next thing I see is this Greek, I think it's a, a trinket tray. This is so pretty. Look at that. Oh my God, that is so stunning. I don't even know if the camera is doing it justice, but that is the most stunning thing I've seen. I would probably put like my rings on this. Okay, so the next thing I see are the tarot cards, which come in every box. And we have the three of wands, which is this guy. If you know who it is, please comment it below because I do not. And then we have the four of wands. Maybe it will say it on the spoiler card. I'm so excited. Everybody has said that this is the best box that Fairy Loot have ever done. And honestly, I tend to agree already. Oh, it's a metal bookmark first of all look how beautiful this packaging is oh my god 
I don't know who exactly it is, but there's like the cutout bird on top. That is my favorite thing ever. This, which I do not know what it is. Oh, okay, it's an iron-on patch. I mean, I don't know what I would use that for. So next we have an art print, which I think is Percy Jackson and Annabeth. I have not read the Percy Jackson series still, but it is on my radar, and I think that's a really nice print. It's a book sleeve. And it has like a zip on the top. Oh my goodness. It says, but in a solitary life, there are rare moments when another soul dips near yours as stars once a year. And that is by Madeline Miller, which I presume is from Circe. That is stunning and it's so big too. I love this. Everything is just getting better and better. And then we have the book. There's no brochure and there's no spoiler card in here. There's also <laughs> a chewing gum wrapper. Nice little extra. Okay, so let's open this and see. There's the fairy scoop here. And the bookmark based off of their theme, which I like that they do that every month. I like that. Okay, so it's Lore by Alexandra Bracken. I like the detail on the spine. I really like that detail. All I can see is that they've just essentially took her face off of it. But look at those edges. Mmm, very pretty. And the end papers too, I really like. That's freaking stunning. Look at that. I feel like that artwork always makes me more motivated to read the book because they just look so cool. And there's some on the back too. That's a first. I love everything in that box. Oh my goodness, everything is such high quality. I think this is my favorite simply because it's so beautiful, even though it's all amazing. They have no spoiler card in here, which I think they usually do. I freaking love that. Oh my gosh, thanks for coming to this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's it, bye. Hello guys, today is Sunday and I'm here with my little filming buddy. Okay, so it is fair to say that the time for the 24 hour readathon has passed. It has passed a long time ago. I'm not disappointed in what I managed to read because I managed to read like 400 plus pages. I think it was like 450 pages that I managed to read, which was amazing. But I am disappointed because I could have read so, so much more, but I had to stop reading because I had classes and everything. <laughs> but... <laughs> let's turn this way so that we can speak to each other so this weekend i was reading the gilded ones i will go grab the book do not leave me so after that i then decided to pick up the gilded ones because this arrived in an owl crate box i really wanted to read it and it looked amazing i'm sad to say that i'm actually quite disappointed in this book and i ended up dnfing it 86 pages in in the 86 pages that i read it was a fast read i just thought it was very weird the pacing was weird a lot of the relationships seemed very very unrealistic <laughs> what in the space of two pages everything had changed they were in a completely new place with a completely new set of characters that we had not been introduced to but we were just supposed to have some sort of bond with and actually care about them and know who they are and where they came from but i do think i will go back to this at some stage in the future just not right now because i was not in the mood to get into a reading slump by reading a book that i do not want to be reading i also started killjoy by holly jackson which is a very 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 short and small book but when i tell you this book is taking me forever to get through. I am currently on page 38. I don't know what it is, if it's the format, if it's the writing style, if it's the plot, I don't know, but everything about this is so freaking slow. And for like a 120 page book, it is really, really hard to get through. I did want to finish this like immediately, but I just can't get through it. Then next up, I'm currently reading this book, which Misty is sitting on but it is A Torch Against the Night by Sabatier. I started it this morning. I'm already on page like 20 or something. The start of it was so intense like it started in the middle of an action scene which I don't know how I feel about that but it did begin where Ember ended which I do actually like. I love when books do that because sometimes you just do not have the brain power to think of like what has happened between the ending of the first book and the starting of the second book. So what I've been trying to do for the past 40 minutes is to get a copy of the Illumicrate from Blood and Ash box. Now the website is crashing and I'm trying to give it like some time but also I do not want to miss out on this. I do not- <gasps> it's there. Okay hold up am I gonna- it's fucking out of stock. I'm gonna cry because I genuinely checked this three minutes ago and I couldn't get onto the website and now it's- <sighs> Okay, it's out of stock. They did say that they might restock it. So here's hoping for a restock because otherwise I have thoroughly missed out on this and I'm so sad. I mean, if you think about it in the positive way, I have just saved money, but my mom is gonna buy it for me. So actually <laughs> i haven't saved money i've just like lost out 
on the freaking box. Anyway, here's the book that I'm reading and I'm using my Fairy Loot bookmark. I'm on page 36. I have not annotated anything yet. Uh, I don't know. I like it. I think with Saboteur's books, though I've only read one, the beginning is quite hard to get into but maybe that is because when i read the first half of ember it was like june 2019 when i read the second half it was like january 2021 so there's a big difference we'll see anyways i'm gonna keep refreshing illumicrate for the next several hours hoping that they restock and yeah that's my plan <laughs> I got it. Okay, so their regular editions did sell out, which was like the signed ones, but they did a restock of the digitally signed books, which um, I wasn't expecting it to sell out so quick, but like I really don't mind if it's digitally signed or actually signed because most of like the Owl Crate and Fairy Loop books are digitally signed. I'm actually gonna scream. I am so happy, oh my goodness. You see, I wasn't gonna get the Illumicrate one simply because um, the book is nice, but I was like, just for the items, you know, what are they gonna be? It's gonna be like a pin or like a bookmark, which would be nice, but realistically, it's not amazing. Then they did a reveal to show that one of their items was a mug. <laughs> you got me there, you know, you mentioned mug, I'm here. I'm so excited, I might cry a little bit inside. I'm probably gonna make a whipped coffee now. Listen, here's a, th here's a little segment that I'm gonna be bringing into my vlogs. As it is the year anniversary of COVID. And by that I mean that this week is the last normal week that we had last year, but we didn't know that. So I'm gonna be trying to create some of the nostalgia and some of the exciting things that we did during the first lockdown. For me, that was multiple readathons, whipped coffee, sitting outside to read. Um, I'm tr I'm gonna try to think of other ones that I did. I know I did lots, lots of more things like baking and things. I don't find baking therapeutic. I love eating baked things, but I just don't like the actual process of baking. I don't find it relaxing. I find it stressful. Unless I can bake and have somebody else clean afterwards then it's fine. The amount of stress that is relieved from my body that I have actually managed to secure a copy of that Illumicrate box. I'm literally screaming. I'm texting my mom right now and like screaming that I got it and everything and she's just like, she's not bothered. She's she, she's like, okay, like I don't know what you want me to do about it. And I'm like, just, just scream with me, mother, okay? <laughs> Okay, hello. I am gonna make whipped coffee. So I've already put my ice in my mug because the amount of time it takes me to put the ice into this out of the tray is embarrassing. So, got my bowl, got my coffee, instant coffee, got my sugar, which is nearly run out, and I've got my water in the tap, obviously. Okay, so from what I remember, you put two tablespoons of each in. That is a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of coffee, but anyways, we're just gonna go with it. Who cares? Two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, and then the water. One, two, okay. Oh, I made that so dramatic. So now I'm gonna get my whisk. It's a nice little colorful whisk. Don't we, don't we love it? 